What's up guys, it's Tater here. Welcome back to episode number three of our New Jersey Devils franchise mode. We're gonna start off with the new trade deadline mini game thing here. I don't know exactly how long it's supposed to take. I think it's been, so I think I've heard it's been about 10 minutes or so. So this may or may be a little bit longer of a video because assuming everything goes well and we make playoffs, this will take us up to playoffs. Since after the trade deadline, it's just not much really happens. Uh, but I also just want to thank you guys again for the support on the uh, videos the last little last week or so. Uh, numbers are higher than I thought they would, honestly. I thought it was going to take a lot longer to get videos to have decent amount of views for a, a smaller channel like myself, which primarily wasn't an NHL channel before. Or at least NHL didn't do so well uh, for me in the past. So again, if you guys like the videos, don't forget to like uh, the video. Comment down below any suggestions, tips, whatever. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. In the last three videos I put up, there's been 93% of the viewers not subscribed so if you guys are a part of that 93 percent and you like the video why not subscribe if you don't like the video let me know what i can improve on because at the end of the day if i'm not producing a good quality video i want to know about it and then go from there see if i can make changes to it so we're listed as a conservative buyer we're, uh, let's take a look at the standings here again. We are second in our division, I believe. Yeah, we're second division. Let's take a look at Eastern Conference. So, we're up there. I mean, the Leafs have 11 point lead, but we're only two points behind Washington. And... I'm kind of curious what it will be if we put as buyer for our trade deadline here. So I'm just going to do that right now. I don't know what type of deals I want to make. So like seller, conservative seller, conservative buyer, or buyer. We're going to go with buyer just to see. Enter trade deadline. I think I've done this once, but I didn't complete the whole thing. I had to head out. So we're just going to take a look at the top 10 players available. Obviously, we got Jonathan Kays. Marc-Andre Fleury, Keith Yandel, Logan Couture, Anthony Mantha, Josh Bailey, Mark Edward Vlasic, Brock Nelson, Evander Kane, and Nicholas Hedjalmerson. So, we'll take a look at draft board. I'm going to see if we can see some, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, trades going on. And if I don't, then, oh, here we go. Detroit Red Wings make a trade. Anthony Mantha... Philpia Nemeth to the Rangers in exchange for a first and Robertson. Uh, I would take Mantha for that. Cool. So someone in our divisions already made a huge splash. So let's just let's see. Is there anyone on like a one-year deal that Nashville makes a trade here? Second and a third for Evander Kane and Sorensen. Wow. Okay, let's let's see. Anyone on a one-year deal that we can add? Let's go available. I want to do just top ten. How to see? Uh, Mike Hoffman, one year, three point four mil. Let's see. Let's scout him out. That's funny. He's in Ottawa. And Columbus makes a trade, another team in our division. So they trade Savard, Koivu, and a fifth. And Kukin for Pelletier and Wolf. I'm not 100% familiar with prospects in the NHL. So forgive me if I'm just assuming these guys are okay or whatever. I'm not. I'm like, yeah, I'm just not very knowledgeable in the prospects at least. So let's see. What do they want? If we could get 
See, I'm not okay with another Rangers trade. Lindgren, a second. Slavgen, Furling for Hjalmarsson and Stepan. Wow. I butchered that one dude's name and the Rangers are just bolstering up. So, 2021 first round pick has fairly good value. But, um, I want to see what it's going to cost us to get Hoffman. And another trade, Dallas Stars, a first, Robertson, and a third for Taze and Yanmark. Wow. I know it's a video game, but some of these trades are just... Like, you wouldn't expect to see a guy's like, guy like Taze get moved. Especially to a team like Dallas. So Hoffman's down here with low trade value. He's only 3.0 million, basically. So Bao and a third. And this Okitiuk and a third. So I missed that trade. All I see is Bailey and Pulak. Let's see, second round, 61st overall, top four D low. Now yeah, it's, I don't know. I want to add someone like Hoffman, but I'm fine if not, because we got guys like Hughes, Fisher, Holtz, everyone to develop. Okay, so for once that trade's not terrible um who else is there let's take a look at Lampa. there you go calfoot what's this gonna take for calfoot Merkley and a third kukunin and a fourth i know we got kukunin in that deal for sammy batman so let's roll fourth line forward potential top six Medium, 22. I mean, Calfoot's not that big of an upgrade. Who knows, maybe it develops fairly decent. Uh, let's see. What team is probably, actually, I should see what teams are like sellers. Is there a way to see? Uh, I guess we can guess from these. Vegas makes a trade. Flurry to Chicago for Johnson in the seventh. But you just traded Taze and now you're adding what got to Flurry? What? This this makes no sense to me. Like what? So I'm just looking to see if there's anyone. What is Michael Granland? Will he fit anywhere? Brock Nelson to Columbus for a second and a fourth. Okay. If we can add Mikhail Grandland, I don't know really. That's wise. 39 points for a third second liner. He's got 75 face-offs. Fits on the fourth forward line. Let's see what the computer proposes for a trade. Like, we could use adding people, but we could also use letting our guys grow. So I'm like kind of on the fence. I just wanted to see if we get any trade offers as a uh, buyer versus conservative buyer. Where are you, Mikhail Granlin? I swear, did I already go over his name? There he is. 83 overall, 2.5 mil with no trick value. All right. What if we bring back Andy Goon for all time's sake? Give him our seventh defenseman, but. JVR to the Sharks for Vlasic and Kukuk and Simon and Miedo. What? do the sharks have that we could go after they seem to be selling 
Oh, yeah, they got Ryan Merkley. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Anyone with like a one or two year deal that's not a terrible cap? Thomas Hurdle. Let's see here. Ferraro. Phone one, sorry, boys. Yeah, like, I just, I don't know. Gabriel. I like the way our team's looking, though, so. I think we might just, uh... So it says we're interested in Keith Yandel, but, like, I haven't looked at him or anything, like... Tyranny, Stone, and Hoffman for first and Prokop to the Predators. Oh, that's interesting. As long as it's not a team in our division, I'm fine. What do we say? Do we go and get a uh, Ilya Kovalchuk? They only want a fourth round draft pick. And on Ducks trade, I swear, if you trade Jamie's, Dr Jamie Drisdale, it, trade a second, a six, kind up to Wild for Buksek and Kakinen. Interesting. What is Kovalchuk's stats? 29 points. Let's see if he fits anywhere on the team. I know the scouts are kind of all messed up, but we'll see. Off the top of my Trying to think who's on our third line. Okay, so Ty Smith, no, get the. I just look and see Ty Smith on the incoming trade. You can get the heck out of here, Ottawa. I may take Kovalchuk. I'm not taking Anisimov. Your third round pick can piss off. I'm not trading Smith. Bow, I don't know. I'll keep Bow for now, but Ty Smith, you ain't getting him. And now this game went and we did that. So I gotta check, see my forwards again, because the game decided to mess me up there. Let's go overall. Three, four, six. So we have Brett, let's see, Jack, and. Ah, let's just see who else are our sellers. So Columbus. Who does Columbus have? Another trade. Philly. Come on. First round. Frost, Hayes, the Wild for Johansson. A fourth, six, and Hartman. Wow. Okay. That's... Marcus Johansson must have insane trade value or something as of lately because first he got traded for Eric Stahl and now he's getting in a deal like that. Columbus makes another trade as I'm looking at their roster. Corpusalo, a third. And Wolanski, two penguins for a second and two All right. Take a look at overall. Who else do you guys have to sell that I'm interested in? Max Domi. That'll cost too much. Cam Atkinson. Five years, no thanks. Nyquist. Three years, no thanks. A second. And the prospect for Wilson and a fifth. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to see what we could get for our first round pick. So I believe this trade deadline ends at noon. So we're probably only got a few minutes left of this. Find trade, let's see, what's our first round pick gonna grab us? LA Kings make a trade, not within our division. A third, hollow, a fourth, and Granlin to the Ducks for a second and third. Interesting. No trades found. No trades found. How about just a second? Nothing. All right. 
forwards. Let's see here. Oh, I thought I went to forwards. Whoops. Colorado makes a trade. Baron, a third, and a third for Henestroza, and a third. I don't get the two thirds and a player for a player and a third. But you guys do you. But what about Zaka? Can we get something for Zaka? 2.25 mil is not terrible. It's just not. Not what we'd hope, but for our third, fourth blind center, I mean, can't complain too much. Sezikas, nope, I'm not looking to take on Cap. I didn't think we'd get much for him. I feel like we have to make a trade, though. Let's go take a look at available players again here. Because, like, if we can add a third round pick or something, or third round, third liner, we could be in business. What is Nick Felino? What does he have? for our scouts. This cap at deadline doesn't really matter too much. Ford line one, all penalty kill lines. I don't know how accurate that is. Let's see, he's got, he's well-rounded, like three and, a, three and a half stars, shooting, senses, pop skills, defense, skating, four star physical. So he doesn't excel in really anything is just solid which for a depth third fourth liner you can't ex uh, can't complain too much let's see here is it Borg's trying so it's 25 83 overall 36 points fits on forward line two uh, like, I'm torn. We probably should have won after Hoffman, thinking about it. Alex Wenberg, a fifth for Harley and a third. Because now we're getting into players that I probably don't really need to go after. Ethan Bear. Where does he fit for us? Doesn't really say... What does Edmonton want for Ethan Bear? Come on, AI. Give me something decent that you guys want to wanna give up for uh, Ethan Bear. So, Oh my god, the Ducks just traded Drisdale, a prospect, a fourth for Logan Couture. Why are you trading a, defen or a prospect defenseman like Drisdale within your division? Why? So I want Merkley in a third, Kukunen in a fourth, Bulkwitz in a fifth. So Kukunen, Bulkwitz, Merkley. Like, he's doing decent for us. He's not. That takes away a forward, adds a defenseman. Right-handed defenseman. Let's see. Is there any 80-ish forwards that we can get that aren't insane caps? Oh! I was trying to figure something out. Okay. So now all the trades are going to pop up here, I think. So a Taze Yanmark first, Robertson third. Uh, Bailey Pulak for first and fourth and Paterka. First and broke out for Tierney, Michael Stone, and Matt Hoffman. Cool. Well, I wasn't opposed to not making a trade. Because we're, we're doing better than I thought we would. So giving up too much would have been not very, very smart. But adding a player that, like, I'm pro probably going to kick myself about not getting Hoffman. 
because that's a top line, if not a top six forward for whatever it was. But see, so, and now we just went on a little losing streak. So if we, oh my, Jack Hughes, sore foot, March 30th. Uh, we'll edit lines manually, actually. So we'll swap Gusev for a scratch player. Do we... Okay, so we're going to bring up Brad, I think. He deserves the promotion. 18 points. Yep, yeah, so Jesper Bratt deserves taking the second line for now. Gusev's going to go up to the top line. Jesper Bratt. Like that. And then Gusev. Like that to the top line. And then I think we have to swap Sini. Yeah, Sini and Wood to maintain that chemistry. We'll see how that does. 30th got almost the end of the season without Jack Hughes. So that's that's a little rough. But we just need to clutch out and make the playoffs. I'm an AHL player, out MCL sprain, whatever. Jack Hughes, edit lines manually. I swear we had chemistry on the fourth line before. And I don't want to put Brat on the fourth line. All right, that's going to do it for now. Defense, Murray Subban. Butcher Subban, Murray Severson. I'm not doing that. All right. Uh, goalies, Crawford. 33 wins, 8 wins. Unfortunately, Crawford's our starter. I would love Blackwood to be the starter, but just the way it is right now. So we're falling down a little bit. A little streak downhill. Can we hold on to that last wild card spot? I don't know where we are in the standings. I saw that we were dropping a bit, so... I think we should... Okay, regular season has ended. Fantastic. So our first round matchup is against the Washington Capitals. Boy, that's going to be a, a tall task. So Gusev finish the... The season was 76 points leading our team. Then we got Palmieri at 65, Cahoon at 60. And we've got Cahoon for, what, 2.15 for another year. So that's a huge, huge bargain for us. Hitcher had 58 points. Janssen had 55. Hughes with 52. Then Butcher led the way with Defenseman at 45. Brad at 43. Subban 41. Severson 36. And then it's our depth guys down here. What's Markley's a rookie? I bet two go goalies. Crawford won 35, 24, and 7 with the 904 and 3 1 goals against average. Interesting. But then Blackwood won 8 5 3 and with one shutout. A 918 save percentage and a 264 goals against average. And Blackwood had an assist. I mean, let's take a look at uh, NHL stats actually. Sorry, should have. Cool. Because we were in wild card, we're playing, or in our division or whatever, we're playing the best team in the league. Fantastic. Or no, I think I misread that. Never mind. 
disregard that last like 15 seconds there. Entirely. McKinnon went off 117 points, then Marner had 107, McDavid 106, Rantanen with 105, Landeskog with 105. That big line for Colorado just dominated. Well, we see Taylor Hall up here with uh, Jack Eichel. Like, Taze, 90 points, and he got traded. Oh. <laughs> that is... You just don't really understand that logic sometimes. McKinnon had 63 goals with an 18.9 shooting percentage. That's massive. So let's take a look at the playoff tree. So Philly, Rangers, Capitals and us, the Devils and the Leafs and Tampa, Buffalo, Boston, and then on the west we have Dallas, St. Louis, Colorado, Vegas, Vancouver, San Jose, Anaheim, and Edmonton. Um, so yeah, um, we made the playoffs, that's good. Get some of our guys some experience. A top pick would never hurt, but it is what it is. Looking back at it, maybe we should have added Matt, uh, Hoffman. This little stretch did not help our case. We were, we were fighting for second in our seed, and then what do you know? Where was the trade deadline? So post trade deadline, we lost one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We lost eighteen games post deadline. And if I counted correctly, we had seven wins and 18 losses after the deadline. And you don't like to see that, a big 7 nothing loss to the Washington Capitals. We'll quickly do the first round of playoffs, so I'll sim the first uh, three games. Hopefully we don't go 0-3. So we win game one. We lose game two, win game three. So we have a nice 2-1 lead. Can we make it 3-1 lead? 2-2, uh, okay. We'll go to this next game. Whoa. That is something you do not like to see. Corey Crawford gets injured in the playoffs in a tied series. Oh boy. I mean, we have Blackwood, but who's getting the call up? And I'm pretty sure our AHL is in the playoffs too. So we'll call up Gilly Sen. He's our AHL backup. Give. Oh man. That is that is rough. So we'll go Blackwood. Sen will back him up. Best lines for the AHL. So Blackwood, buddy. Time to shine, baby. We're down 3-2 now. Gusev leads the team with five points in five games. 
Let's see. I wanted to look at our playoff team stats. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna call someone out for this game. Hesher Hughes. Okay. I know the top guys are doing fairly well, but I think Hughes and Hesher just need to kick it up into that next next gear. Same with Paul Mary. We need our top line to be our top line. We need the team to hold it down in front of Mackenzie Blackwood. He saw less action than we originally anticipated. We'll simulate this game. Yes, we'll simulate the AHL. First period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Getting outshot, 14-9. and Let's go, second period. Ryan Murray scores. All right, shots are even. We're up one nothing. Let's do a. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not looking at the score. I hit the wrong button. I was trying to do a slow sim. I have my eyes covered. I am so upset. I just did that right now. Oh. And then Ovi and Kuznetsov with the dagger. We outshot them. And we lose in six. No. And Mackenzie Blackwood gets the second star in the loss. So, the guys I called out, they didn't get the job done. That's what it is. Blackwood. I don't know. I mean, Blackwood went, I think, 0-2 for us in the playoffs. But. We'll take a quick look at this. Player stats. I just want to go right to the goal. Is that Hughes, Hisher, nothing. Thing. Yeah. Goalies. Blackwood 0 2, 895 save percentage, a 316 goals against average. Crawford getting hurt. That that really didn't help us. I really like Blackwood, just he didn't have the season we wanted him to. So we shall sim to the draft. So this one's gonna be I'm going to send to the draft. We're going to see who won the cup. Take a look at the awards. And then we'll call it an episode. I know it's getting a little bit long there for the episode length. But. Now you're going to. Forever. Actually I'm just going to send to the draft. And then we'll stop. We'll do the draft in the next episode. Best lines. Julius Honka, well, head coach Rose, best player. Come on, just get the simulation done. Whatever. So we should have. Holy. The Devils are just getting banged up in the AHL playoffs. But they're still in it, it looks like. Honka's back. So, there's a little bit that takes a little bit of the the sting out of there, losing to the Capitals who won the Stanley Cup. So that, that kind of helps a bit. If we get that experience for some of our younger guys. For a second, I thought we had the Islanders first, but I'm pretty sure we have the Islanders uh, the second round pick. So that should be a very good second round pick for us. Maybe we could use that in a trade bait. Uh, Calgary goes from number 10 to number 1. Ottawa gets second. Detroit gets third. LA. <laughs> LA had the second round. Second overall. But they lost the lottery and went to fifth. Well that's going to wrap it up for the video guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this longer episode. Post is Ederberg Chara. Yeah, okay. But uh, next episode is going to be the draft. And then we'll start free agency, get into year number two of Devil Devil's franchise mode. I'm excited for year two. Guys like Cahoon had great years. A guy like Cahoon had a great year. Jack Hughes had a good year, not great. Fisher, good, not great, but like it gives them that experience, those games, that playoff experience helps. So we're just building towards getting back to where the Devils were. Not like they were kind of a dynasty, but not quite a dynasty. So. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, like, subscribe down below. Oh my gosh, I messed that up. Comment down below if you guys like the video tips. Maybe someone who we could draft. I haven't gotten into a draft in a franchise mode. Uh, let me know any tips for the actual series or my video in general. And if you haven't already subscribed, I don't like asking for you to subscribe, but each subscribe subscription helps. And again, guys, thank you so much for the support so far in the series and in NHL 21. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.